Most people go into a Bible reading challenge really excited, but not everyone who starts one is going to finish it. So these are three questions you can ask yourself before you start or even when you need some motivation to help you finish reading the whole Bible. Why do you want to read the Bible? It seems like such a simple question, but it's actually a pretty important one. You don't quit things that are important to you, right? You quit them because they seem irrelevant. So this is actually a very important question. Most people see the value of studying the Bible, but not as many see the value in reading it. So are you reading or studying? People mix this up all the time. Studying is about head knowledge and understanding and thinking deeper, wrestling with concepts and beliefs. Reading's quite different though. This is a shout out to Keith Farron. I recently saw a video of his as I was researching for this one, and he says it the best way I've seen. He says, reading is relational. It's not about what you're getting to know, it's about who you are getting to know. So the point is for our worldview to be transformed. My advice is to stick with a Bible reading plan and to join a Bible study. So when reading, you can write down questions you come up with, but the point is to continue on reading so that you can learn the stories better and get to know God better. When reading, try to focus on who God is, who we are, and what God is saying to you through his word. Which leads us to the next question. How well do you know the stories? Did you grow up in church and feel really good about all the stories in the Bible? I mean, if you do, great. Or you might have some some gaps there. If you didn't grow up in the church and often find yourself learning new stories from sermons on Sunday or from videos on YouTube, then you might want to start reading the stories of the Bible. And I have a great video on how to pack five years of learning into a few weeks using a kid's Bible. After all, a foundation is meant to be built on. And the base level foundation of knowledge of the Bible comes from the stories. It's why we spend so much time teaching them to kids. In fact, the three milestones I suggest people work towards when reading the whole Bible is first, to get a really good understanding of the stories. Genesis, Exodus, 1st and 2nd Samuel, Jonah, the Gospels, right? Second, understand and read the wisdom books, which are usually pretty interesting. They're like the Psalms and the Proverbs. And lastly, piece in the rest of the Bible, like the histories, prophets, and Paul's letters. It's kind of like math. You can start learning multiplication right after you get addition down, but the more you understand those foundational skills, the easier it is to learn and apply to the harder stuff, like multiplication or fractions. Have you quit a Bible reading plan before? So this question is where we start to get real. If you've quit a Bible reading plan before, then be honest about why. A lot of times people quit because they get bored with a section in the Bible, or life happens. Either way, one of the most important things you can do is have a couple buddies who are reading the Bible with you, either with the same plan or a different one. It doesn't really matter. The part that does matter is that you keep each other accountable. That's precisely why I built my Bible reading tracker the way I did. It's super flexible. So if you do get behind, you can catch right back up. It makes it easy to jump around a little bit if you get bored, and you can read through at your own pace. Check that out below from the link in the description. And if you get something out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. I'll catch you soon.